Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Always great to get off to a good start in conference play. Time for some early season action in the ACC. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Great Smoky Mountains National Park playing host to this college football battle. And now it's time for the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. He's to the 20. Across the 30. He's tackled at the 39. The Tigers offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. He must not have seen anybody open on that play. Nobody opened downfield, but he's got to be careful. I like his toughness, but those kind of hits are going to take a toll on him eventually. There he goes. Room around the corner. He's at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Tigers. When you see that end zone in front of you, it can elevate your running to another level. Awesome play. He makes the PAT. A short two-play, 61-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Clemson ready to kick this one off. Taken from the three-yard line. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He fights forward to about the 30. That makes it second and eight. He's taken down around the 33-yard line. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. A pickup of about three. Once the wide receiver made the catch, he just kind of ran out of real estate. There was nowhere for him to go. Johnson is back deep to return. Johnson takes it at the 33, and he's taken down at the 34. Clemson's offense deserves all the credit in the world. You come into a crowd like this, and they didn't keep them from doing the job at hand. They got points on that opening march. Just really impressive. It, considering this is, I think, one of the toughest environments in all the college football, that's a job well done. Now they've got to continue to try to build off of that opening drive. And he's hit immediately. Clemson is up by a touchdown. Fires in 
incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. Sometimes when you throw it that hard, you can't control the accuracy all that well. He'll get it under control, though, in time. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Room around the corner. Tackle at the 41-yard line. Each time you run an option, a big play is possible. This time they came up big on third down. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. And he is drilled at the 22-yard line. That's great execution. Quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up to make the play. It's first and 10. Ball on the 22. made around the 20-yard line. That's good for the two yards. That makes it second and eight. Quick strike, and he drops it. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. heavy pressure he's wrapped up for the sack as an offensive line you've got to do a better job as a group at communicating defense brought pressure that time they did not do a good job of picking up the linebackers the linebackers able to come up with the sack it's fourth down and the offense is getting set to go for it Clemson is up a score a great tackle at the eight-yard line. What an unbelievable fourth down conversion. That was a big-time play. Heck of a job there to keep this drive going. Brought down at the three. That's a big That brings up second and goal. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Coleman is lined up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Gets out to around the 38. They go with a run, and he's brought down in the backfield. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Screen pass. He's got his half back. And he's tackled around the 47-yard line. Nice job here by the quarterback of putting some air underneath this pass and letting his receiver catch up with it for a nice game. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. 
He's at the 30 for the 20. And he's tackled at the 15. That always stings the defense to give up a big running play like that. They don't want to give up big chunks of yards on the ground. Here's the give. Makes it to the 12-yard line. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. So at the end of one quarter, the Tigers lead 14-0. to the action now here in the second quarter. Three down, three down. Mark 55. Let's go. Jack, Jack. Patriot, Patriot. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. This isn't much more than an extra point. The Volunteers had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. Williams gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 19. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. They bring the quarterback down. looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. The Tigers saw one of their top players going down earlier. It looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. Zips it to the tight end. They'll bring him down around the 15-yard line. That makes it third and 15. He airs it out. Got it. He's tackled around the 35-yard line. That's going to be a game of 50 yards. That makes it first and 10. Yard line. Second down. Gets it. He's in space. That'll bring up third and four. Dumps it complete over the middle. And down he goes at about the 29-yard line. He's got it with room to run. Good open field tackle. He showed some excellent moves out there. More than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big gain, and this offense keeps humming along. And 
that sets them up for the first and goal. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Play action here. He's going to scramble. Slides down. That brings him second and goal. He's taken down at the four-yard line. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. They run it, and they got it before he could score. Should be an easy field goal. It's up and it's good. Clemson, the kick. He'll take it from the two. He makes it to the 25 yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And they make the stop around the 39-yard line. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with. And he took advantage of it. Makes the catch and look out. He's brought down in the open field. out to about the 35-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. With the safeties coming up, making plays near the line of scrimmage, that tells your offense they've got to start throwing the ball to keep them honest. He lets it fly. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. The Volunteers use their second timeout. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They come out in an empty backfield. And he hits him hard at the eight. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. on the extra point. An eight-play, 75-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 17-10. He'll return it from the four-yard line. 
And he's tackled at the 25. Paul's play so far, Kirk, in the first half. I don't think we're surprised, but he's been very, very impressive. He's been very impressive, and I think he's kind of in that zone. And, and you know, whether you're watching a basketball game and a shooter gets in a zone, or you're a baseball player and you're kind of one of those uh, hitters that's just in a zone where the ball looks like it's a balloon coming in. But, you know, for a quarterback, when you get in a zone, it means you're just not thinking. Things are happening naturally. You don't have to sit there and worry about it. You play with a tremendous amount of confidence. And I think that's what we're seeing from him right now. I think he just has a lot of confidence in himself and his teammates and what they're trying to do right now as an offense. From their own 37-yard line, first down. And he's immediately tackled. The Tigers call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Clemson up seven points. And a quick throw. He's taken down at the 43-yard line. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Oh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Tackle around the 17-yard line. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Black five, black five! A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. That makes it first and goal. Now he's scrambling. So with the half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. He's to the 20. At the 30, and he's taken down at the 36. And that'll do it for the first half. 2010 Tigers. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Fielded at the four. Tackle at the 28-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He makes his way to about the 38. Tackle made around the 45 yard line.
He's going to air it long. This one is batted away. The defense needed that one. How about the move here by this cornerback? Great play that time, getting a hand on the football. From the 40-yard line, second down. Let's go! Jack, Jack! Patriot! Patriot! Nice run, and he's brought down. He's pushed out of bounds. Has some daylight. Big play, and it's first and goal. It's second and goal. Six Mike yards 50, to the end zone. Mike 55, Mike 55. Hey, eat, 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 eat. Oh, <laughs> Players in there, got it. Touchdown. He's on the receiving end for another score. Man, this running back has really helped this passing game. Every time he's on the field, it's like having another receiver out there. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. He makes the PAT. A 10-play, 71-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. The score now, 20-17. to 17. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Clemson has a three-point lead. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a game of yards. That makes it second and six. Check 59, Mike. Mike is 59. They'll get him for a loss. It, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. They shut that drive down pretty emphatically. That's something to build on. The secondary decided to drop back into coverage here, and there was nobody open for the quarterback to deliver the ball to. Good job by the D. They're coming after this punter. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 50. Pretty nice pickup here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. Coming to you, coming to you. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's tackled at about the 35. to the tailback gets out to around the 25 tackled after decent pickup
they get him in the backfield for a loss. That brings up second and 13. From the 24-yard line, it's second down. He's hit and taken down. Throws it in a hurry. Nice play to set up first and goal. Bring him down at the three yard line. That brings him second and goal. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. He's tackled at the one. going on in the top 25. And for USC, here's a team trying to win the first game of the year. The Trojans on top by four, early in the fourth quarter. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Williams is lined up to kick this one off. He'll return it from the six. Tackle made at the 31. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's going to try and scramble. He's to the 40. He dives and he'll be marked down. He's on the run, runs with it, and he's got room. Decides to slide. And it looks like this one's going to come down to the final quarter. Tennessee's up by four. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Fights forward to about the 33. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. Throws a strike over the middle. And down he goes around the one-yard line. That's a game of 16. That makes it first and goal. He's scrambling. He gets rid of this one. That was incomplete, and it looked exactly like their last pass. It was exact same play, and I think the offensive coordinator just tried to pull a fast one. Here's the eighth play of the series. Play 
ever developed nicely. Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Freeman from the six gets to about the 24 yard line. Tennessee's been doing special things on offense all season long and not today. That's not what we've been expecting. This has been a shocker. These guys have had their way with almost every defense all year long. You come in expecting the same thing and they lay an egg. Oh, I didn't expect to see this at all. This is a pretty crucial series right here with things being so tight. Your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Got an opening. Gets out to around the 35. Looks like they didn't get the playoff quick enough. Delayed game, offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. From their own 37-yard line, second down. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. They'll knock him down for a loss. Still brings him down at the 36 yard line. That'll make it 39. Third and long here. And for the defense, if they get a stop, they've got a great opportunity to help put this football game away. Just under three to go in regulation. Here's the halfback on the screen. And they make the stop at about the 45. And he's taken down at the 47-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. That makes it second and eight. Fights forward to about the 49. Gain two yards. That'll bring up third and six. And here's another third down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That'll bring up fourth and one. Play clock's at zero. They took too much time. Delayed game. Offense. 
That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. So the penalty makes it first and 15. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And they push him out at the 32. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. This is the 10th play of this drive. A little over a minute in the game. And he hits him hard at the 21. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Just throws this one away. We're at the 12th play of the drive. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. That's a loss of four yards. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Third and long here for the final drive in the fourth quarter, and they need a conversion. Quick throw. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. It's up, and the field goal is good. Tennessee is lining up to kick this one off. Johnson fields it at the one. Tackle at the 24. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch. Going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? Let's see who's got the most leadership. He zips it. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. From their own 24-yard line, second down. We have less than a minute to go. That quickly incomplete. They're going to have to be more successful throwing the football. You can't gain solid yardage if the defense isn't concerned about the passing game. They're going to end up crowding the line of scrimmage, expecting a run on every down. White, back deep to return. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Late in the fourth quarter, tie football game, an important game for both these teams, and this is where you find out who your leaders are. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From the 49-yard line, second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. player of the game might come from the defense after that stop here late in the fourth quarter. That could be the turning point. The Volunteers, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Parker to punt. And he's 
taken down at the 27. Well, we've had fun, folks, but we're not done yet because this game is heading to overtime. And we're back ready now for overtime. Short over the middle. And he is drilled at the 19-yard line. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. try to get the first points in this overtime. The kick is up, and he's got it. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Trojans came into the game ranked 13th. Many said they didn't deserve to be ranked that high. That performance would say those people were right. This was a tight one to the very end. The Ducks win it by three. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. First and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Deep pass to the end zone. Number two was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. Fires out to his receiver, and he's tackled at the two-yard line. somehow as a positive. Their star player had a great game. They just got to look the next week. Yeah, it's tough anytime you lose a game to be positive, but if there is anything to be positive about, it's about their performance by this individual. He, he really did everything that he could do to try to win this football game. Unfortunately, the team ends up losing, but they can't build to the future around his abilities for sure. 